Hey guys, it's Addie and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be repotting this here coffee cup elephant ear today and I thought I would just record it too so you guys can um, just watch me repot and see how I repot my plants. I am going to be putting it in this um, ceramic pot I got from Walmart. It does have a drainage hole which is very important for your plants because you need that extra water to go somewhere and that way it doesn't cause any damages to the root system. And I just got this plant yesterday at a local nursery. This one was $6.99 which I thought was a pretty good deal and it's putting out a new leaf right now. So that's why I picked this one is because of the leaf and because the roots are literally hanging out of the holes right now. So that's how you know it's time to repot because it needs more room to grow. So this is what it looks like currently. So you just want to pot it in a pot that isn't going to be too ginormous because you could kind of freak the plant out a little bit. So just about an inch to two inches in diameter is how much you want to go up in size. So today I am going to use um, my miracle Grow indoor potting mix. Now I heard miracle Grow is not the best, but it's what I have right now. And I do plan on ordering um, a different kind of potting mix on Amazon in the near future. And I'm also going to mix in some perlite. This also helps with drainage in the soil. Okay, so let's go ahead and I have a spoon here because I don't feel like getting my hands all dirty right now. So I'm going to use a spoon and scoop up. And you want to put about two inches of soil to cover the bottom. I'll add some perlite too. Okay, and then you want to be careful when you take the plant out of the nursery pot so you don't want to damage any roots. Wow, that was super easy. And since this is still like pretty moist, I'm not going to water it today. I'm actually going to, do you see at the top how it's green? I'm going to scrape that algae off. Actually, I'm going to do it over this bowl. It doesn't look very appealing, so I want to get rid of that. Pop it on in there. Perfect. And then you just want to fill the edges up with soil. And I also don't want to put soil all the way to the top of the pot because when you water it, it's... Um, going to overflow and then it can make a mess. Sorry, I did not realize I was hiding behind this plant. It's so big. Okay. Go ahead and fill it up. All right, and I'll go ahead and share some care tips that I learned about the coffee cup elephant ear. Um, these guys like their soil to be moist and they like bright and direct sunlight. So this is my first elephant ear, so we will see how I do with it. I love the way it looks, like the black stems and the big leaves. I'll show you in comparison. That's a really big leaf. 
And the reason why I'm filming outside today is because it's super nice, so who does not want to be outside right now? And second, I wanted to pot outside, that way I'm not making a mess inside. Okay, I'm going to add some perlite at the top. If you guys have any extra care tips on elephant ears, please let me know because this is my first one. I've only had it for a day, so um, any extra tips for these, please comment down below. I'd appreciate it. I love the look of the elephant ears, so I'm on the hunt for more. So if you guys also know where I could find some more elephant ears, let me know. You just want to fill in any air pockets. So I'm just going to tap. You want to gently press down, but not too much. Sorry for that background noise. Everyone and their mother is outside doing their lawn today. bit more okay that's what it looks like and I am probably not going to give her some water today just because of her original soil having so much moisture in it still. I don't want to overwater it. So I will check up on her in a few days to see if she needs some water. If so, I'll probably give her some fertilizer just because I don't know when's the last time she had some. And all my plants are going to be fertilized um, now throughout the summer about once a month just to help with growing since this is the growing season for a lot of the plants and another tip these guys like humidity so I highly recommend keeping them near a humidifier and honestly I don't even have a humidifier right now I'm using a essential oil diffuser which is the same thing except I do not put essential oils in it I just use distilled water and it does the job for the time being until I can order one off of Amazon. I know they have some pretty cheap ones on Amazon, so if you guys are needing one, check Amazon, or if you just need a little guy for now, I recommend see if you have an essential oil diffuser around the house somewhere because I had one and it just came in handy because I needed humidity for my plants. And, or you could use the trick that I've shared before is leaving the or taking the plants into the shower with you so it can soak up the humidity while you're in the shower. Actually, don't take them in the shower, put them in the bathroom while you're in the shower. But yeah, I will go ahead and conclude this little potting video. If you guys want to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be posting more planty content. And if you enjoyed this short little repotting video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below on any care tips that you have for this girl and um let me know if you guys have any other elephant ears out there because i'm not sure what other varieties there are out there but okay i will see you guys later and stay safe thank you bye